Hi! And welcome to Play Viral. The big advantage of miniseries is that you can watch them in one go. We are personally a fan of it because most miniseries are also really good. Today we are going to look at which best new miniseries you can watch on Netflix right now. Don't forget to subscribe and like our channel. You as a viewer ensure that we can continue to make videos. Note, would you like more information about crypto or tips on how to earn money? Then be sure to follow our other channel, Rich News. You will find a link to this channel in our description. 5. All of Us Are Dead Two weeks ago, the South Korean Netflix series All of Us Are Dead appeared on the streaming service and it can already be said that it is a popular series. Since its release, the series has held the number one spot in the top 10 most watched series in the United States, marking a milestone in South Korea. After Squid Game, this new series is the second non-English language series from South Korean soil to keep the number one place in the United States. All of Us Are Dead is based on a digital comic written by Yo Dung Gun titled Now at Our School. Released from 2009 to 2011, the series tells the story of a high school that is threatened by a zombie outbreak. Students fight for their lives to escape this threat. If it doesn't work, they become infected with all the consequences that entails. 4. Archive 81 James Wan, creator of The Conjuring Universe, released his latest series on Netflix, Archive 81. The mysterious miniseries about an investigation into a dangerous cult is now available on the streaming service. Archive 81 follows archivist Dan Turner, who takes a job restoring a series of damaged 1994 videotapes. When he comes across the work of documentary maker Melody Pendris, he becomes involved in her investigation into a dangerous cult in the Visser apartment complex. The miniseries follows two different timelines as Dan slowly becomes obsessed with discovering what happened to Melody. Dan becomes convinced that he can save her from the terrifying end she met 25 years ago. Archive 81 consists of 8 episodes and is now available on Netflix. 3. The Journalist The thrilling Japanese thriller series The Journalist is an adaptation of the 2019 film of the same name that caused a stir in Japan and won numerous awards. The series is about Anna Matsuda, a journalist for the Toto newspaper, a newspaper known as the maverick of the news media. Matsuda strives to expose complex issues in modern Japanese society. Like the film from 2019, the series firmly tackles a number of social taboos and thus challenges the status quo. The lead roles are played by Ryoko Yonakura, Go Ayano, Ryuzi Yokohama, Koji Okura, and Tamaro Wotaguchi. The series is directed by Mishihito Fuji, who also directed the original film. 2. The woman in the house across the street from the girl in the window. Anna's heart is broken. But that's not all, every day is the same for her. She sits with her glass of wine staring out the window and sees how life goes by without her. But when a handsome neighbor and his adorable daughter move across the street, Anna begins to see light at the end of the tunnel. That is until she witnesses a horrific murder or is it? Despite the already great interest in the dark series, a second season seems unlikely. The series with Kristen Bell is a miniseries, which means that it will most likely stay with one season. It is rare that a miniseries is extended with a second season, as happened recently with Tiger King. A second season for The Woman in the House is therefore probably not in it, but you never know with Netflix. 1. Stay Close Harlan Coben is a popular guest on Netflix. The streaming service has a deal with the American writer and films just about all of the man's books. And they all look quite similar. The lead role in Stay Close is played by Megan who lives a wonderful life with her handsome husband and three children. And then you know enough as a trained viewer. This is going to go completely wrong. It doesn't take long for Megan to find a note on her doorstep with her old name, Cassie, on it. It dates back to the time she stripped in a club. But Cassie fled that life because a client named Stuart was stalking her. Stuart was murdered or was he not? So Cassie thought it would be a good idea to start a new life. But secrets often don't stay secrets and it doesn't take long before she is sucked back into her old life. 
Meanwhile, Detective Broom investigates the disappearance of Carlton Flynn, a young man who disappeared exactly 17 years after Stewart, and Broom suspects a connection. What follows is a huge amount of entanglements, flashbacks, murders and cliffhangers. This was our top 5 of best mini-series on Netflix right now. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. Thank you for watching this episode.